We're off then, Mrs. We are. Where are we going? We're going to the NEC in Birmingham. Yes. Yep. Brum Brummagem. Good night now. Yes, we're off down to the NEC in Birmingham to have a look and see what's going on. Um, I hear it's set in the weird days, do you not? Absolutely. Yeah. However, everything is now sorted out. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. And welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Might be. Never know your look. Um, so, yes, we're going to fill up with gas on the way down. We found, good lord, we found. Uh, well, hopefully. Hopefully, with <laughs> fingers crossed, with a little bit of luck, the following wind. Diesel and gas, and then motorways all the way, and hope for no hold ups. It's the best way in it. It is, yeah. So well, that's about the size of it. We shall pick you up a little further on. But just so you know, I'm Dave. And I'm Jill. And we do things. We do. So there you are. Seen a bit. Try. <laughs> Been all round the houses getting there, like. Hello, Mr. Dawn. Hello. It would be a good idea. Right. You need, 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 we'll need some water. Yeah, uh -huh. thank thanks, you. Thanks, the lads, because the water is down down on that side but we can get you around to do that what we might need what I can do is to, is to pop your trailer off first yeah. and go get some water yes um, show me show me where I'm going yeah, I'll drop the trailer I'll get, get the water the and then come back come over and he'll thank you because yeah. you. you've got such big lakes we'll find you a decent place yeah. where you and that and you can thanks for him that's absolutely fine I have right, massive please. length it's shocking isn't it <laughs> absolutely <yeah. laughs> it's just just it's probably just as well we didn't get the imperial because that's another meter longer on top of that <laughs> And I was going to get a bigger trailer. Oh dear, my no. gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Thanks ever so much. Anyway, just thank you. you. Here I am in the hall and it's uh, vast. The place is vast. More to see than you can possibly see a stick at. And this is the quiet part. Um, there's everything here. Absolutely everything. Swift, Adria, Coachman, you name it. And one or two famous faces as well. Nearly ran him over out and about judges would you believe there's dealers there's all kinds um, to the point where I'm actually starting to run out of battery on this scoot which is mad utterly mad but as you can see whatever it is you want to look at is pretty much here <laughs> There's Rapido, Loudham's has got a massive stand, showing all the Heimer stuff. Giotti, not heard of Giotti, new one on me. But yes, there's barrel loads, absolutely barrel loads. I'm going to go down here where it's quiet that I can talk to you. Now, somebody, the name has escaped me, asked about diesel on an Aldi heating system. Well, I went and spoke to Alda and it's in trial and should be launched quarter three next year. So that'll be diesel rather than gas onto the Alda system. Um, it's being trialled in Europe. Um, it's looking very, very favourable. So there should be diesel 
alder systems available from quarter three next year now given that it's going to be the whole boiler i would imagine it's uh, drop out and slot in a replacement you can do it that way so there's that one which is pretty damn good i also got the chance to go and talk to ridge bunker to find out whether or not they would have anything to do with induction hobs and indeed they have look ridge monkey pan so the main difference being it will work on an induction hob rather than your traditional gas or um, or coal or, or any sort of hob it works in the same way where it splits into two individual pans so you can use them separately or together when you use it with the lid shut acts almost like a mini oven and then we've also got detachable handles that store inside so when you're not using it nice and compact for storage doesn't take up much space at all Lovely. there you go will, will these be in various different sizes as well so for now it's just going to be in this one size um, and if it goes well then we've got the rest of the range here we've got our deep pans and the griddle pans um, and we will eventually hopefully get those into an induction range as well depending on how this one goes Brilliant. splendid no problem so we're on on the way back coming into the ah, and there we are parked. We'll have to move that by the looks of things. And here we are back at the ranch. Yes, it's a mahoosive big show. You enjoyed it? I did. Um, lots and lots of people. It, I mean, it's spread over a, a horseshoe of halls. Um, and it's dead easy to get lost. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. But there's a, a big... Um, I don't know what you... It's like a, a mall of, of uh, trade stands where you can go and buy stuff. Everything from... Um, chocks to hoses to all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna go down there with two pound ten in my pocket and see what I can buy. Not a lot, I suspect. You think so? I, uh, I would put money on that. <laughs> How much money would you put on it? Uh, <coughs> why? What have you seen? <laughs> I've seen all kinds. Mm -hmm. um, I went to the EcoFlow stand. All oh, right, yeah. And had a natter with them about plans I uh, do I say plans I have yeah plans you know what I'm like carry on well you know we've got um, six kilowatts of, of eco flow power in the boot yes that we can power the whole van from yes how would you like ten do we need ten? Oh yes what for well, so that you can use your hair dryer and your hair straighteners and you can use the air fryer and I can charge me scooters, which is quite important, really. Well, yeah. Um, see what I'm doing there. See what I'm doing. Scooters, you see. It's the excuse I'm using. It's not really. I, I, I do need, because I've got range anxiety already. It's yeah. that big my scooter started running out of juice yeah you haven't got a spare battery for that one no there's no spare batteries for that one it might be that we've got to get the bus down if i kind of get them charged and higher at 15 it's 15 pound a day at higher one there and i can book it well you've got your boot scoop yes you take that one you've got a spare battery for that but not with us i haven't I oh typical <laughs> Uh, no, it is huge. It is absolutely huge. I mean, during the course of... I wasn't away more than four hours, was I? If that, three. I don't know. It seemed an awful long time to Kira. Ah, oh, right. Like that, was it? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, well, however long I was away, I've done... I've done about seven miles, eight miles. Mm. Easily. And it's not that far down that. Maybe it's only a mile from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a far walk. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I want to say though to anybody that's watching this that might have seen a fat lad on a grey scooter wandering about the place thank you so much because everybody has been so nice and getting out of the way I'm saying getting out of the way like I feel entitled I don't I was so surprised that people have been supportive mm -hmm. if you like um, and it's it's you've made a happy man feel very old <laughs> no no you've made an old man very happy thank you for all of that what was I saying yes I went to see Eco Flow and they had and I'll I'll shoot film of this later they had uh, the Eco Flow Delta 3 Plus on the stand which is launched this month and should be available from November I believe um, and this is quite quite an upgrade from the Delta 2 series um, so much so that it would almost be very very well worthwhile us swapping across because the Delta 3 Plus will accept the Delta 3 Pro external battery um, now the batteries that we've got on the Delta 2 uh, the Delta Max 2K that we've got are two kilowatt batteries the Delta Pro battery is a four kilowatt battery and when the Delta 3 Plus Max if that's what it's going to be called comes out next May you heard it here first um, that will take two external batteries so two kilowatts two kilowatt hours in the uh, Delta 3 plus max Delta 3 max plus whichever and then uh, two lots of four would give you 10 kilowatt hours and that would be plenty I think to uh, to keep everything happening the way we want it to which yeah. would be extremely good I think don't you oh you lost me when you <laughs> when you mentioned eco flow to be honest I don't understand it all I really don't. Well, which is half the problem because you could sell me anything. Well, I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Look, at the at the moment, if you think in terms of kilowatt hours, right? A one bar fire is a kilowatt. Mm -hmm. So a kilowatt hour, a one bar fire would run for one hour off that, and then that's it. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Now the heating in the vans. We have settings for one kilowatt and two kilowatt, mm -hmm. and some have settings for three kilowatts. So, if you wanted to run your heating off an eco floor, mm -hmm. and you had a one kilowatt heating eco floor, you would be able to run your heating for an hour. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Tick. This is good. It's not mm -hmm. a test, but <laughs> it is. So, if you had a two kilowatt hour battery, mm -hmm. how long would you get out of that? Two hours. There you go. Mm -hmm. so for 10 kilowatt hours mm -hmm. you would get 10 hours yes now you'd use gas in in well, in the yeah, real world you'd yeah. use gas but 10 kilowatt hours i mean we, we we had six kilowatt hours available to us when we went to uh diddly squat mm -hmm. and we used over five days we probably used just over half of that mm. Um, but we were very, very frugal. Yes. And it was decent weather. And it was decent weather. But in the colder weather, mm -hmm. yes, the gas is going to be used for heating, but you'll want the electric for recharging scooters, for air fryers, because we want more hot meals, uh, more hot cups of coffee, uh, boiling the kettle just mm -hmm. for, for pot noodles and stuff like that. So you need more electric when it's colder. So 10 kilowatt hours would work extremely well. And I do like the way the Eco Flow stu stuff comes together because in the new Delta 3 system, instead of the fans being on the side and blowing out to the side, they blow back to front. That means that you can stack them side by side in the boot. Mm. So you don't have to stack them up and away from the the, uh, the walls. Oh, right. yeah. You can stack them facing <clears throat> transversely, yes, so that the fans blow out and you can put them side by side plus they've got new leads that mean you'll be able to put them closer together okay so it looks a whole host better mm -hmm. um 
So I'll be I'll be looking forward to see what comes out of all of that. Mm-hmm. That'll be grand. Um, as for the rest of the show, there's so much to see. There is so much to see. I would seriously say, if you're coming down thinking about buying a van, budget a day longer, unless you've really done your homework, because there are, there's everything from the tiniest little weeny thing that I wouldn't fit into, <laughs> to, oh my God, how big is that? Followed swiftly by, how much? <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, <laughs> you'll be pleased to hear I did not go and have a look in a Morello okay <coughs> much as I felt like it but strangely given the prices of Morellos because mm-hmm. some of them are 600,000 pounds but 300,000 is, is like the, the entry level on the Morellos it's probably the busiest stand well, loads yeah, of people yeah. looking round them mm. um, lots of people with video cameras mm. uh, but professional video cameras that'll be coming up somewhere uh, they were all speaking English so I don't know it's probably on million pound motorhomes or something like that mm. um, but there's everything to see it doesn't matter what you want they've got it um, go and have a look at the coachman stand lord there's some nice stuff on there I do like the look of the Lusso caravans. Yes, I did have a look. Okay. And yes, we could tow it with a veto. Not on the back of this. No, not on the back of this. <laughs> no, no. Oh, if... Yeah, well. No. But anyway, there's going to be more to come from the show. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm not entirely certain when. I don't know that I'm going to have the time to get something up on Thursday, it being Tuesday now. Mm -hmm. Uh, If I can, we will. If we cannot, we'll win it. Mm -hmm. It's about fair, isn't it? So there you go. That, that's it for this video, I think. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say to all of you, thank you very much for tuning in and watching, if you have been, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Uh, which will be whenever whenever Dave and Jill do it. Whatever we do. Because we do. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. So take care of each other. Stay lucky. See you next time. Ta-da. Bye.